Now this video might be the last one. I hope I can complete it. In this, uh, what I want to say to the masters, the young masters, is this: uh, the con the uh, the conscious community was built off of uh, Brother Sinetta and uh, I'm gonna tell you what to look for, where you can tell that it's an influence. I believe it's the uh, Jews in New York influence that's uh, behind the House of Consciousness and Khalid uh, Muhammad was a brother that uh, could have been took out by the uh, Jews uh, or When you say it's government, you, you might as well be saying the Jews or the uh, Mafia. It's all the same. Illuminati Mafia. Illuminati is our word uh, for the black man. But they uh, stole it from us. The Masons is the black man. The Illuminati, but they stole it from us. And uh, they're using it against us, you know. But the rift between uh, Mr. Farrakhan and Khalid, you know, the same as what's happening now, you know. It's a, the rift between uh, Malik Zulu Shabazz, in my opinion, the wrong strategy was used and you got off track from the teachers of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And uh, once you did that, you repeating the same history over again. Now they trying to crucify uh, Minister, the uh, Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in doing so they're crucifying the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and Master, trying to, trying to crucify Master Farah Muhammad. But they crucified them a long time ago. But they're keeping it in front of these new generations because they don't know nothing about how we rolled in the past. And so they, they, they young minds will absorb this because they've been conditioned through hip hop music to do beefs. They feel like beefs are show who's the superior one, who's the supreme one. Because you can out rap another brother, uh, you know, so you got. You got rap battles. But now we having philosophy battles and religious battles. You know, and beefing with one another and attacking each other's personality. You got to, you know, develop a code of conduct all over again for these times that we're living in. The elders got to take uh, the initiative to use a different kind of strategy because you just can't talk it no more. You got to walk it. And uh, so, you know, in the past, brothers had skeletons in their closet, you know, that the Caucasians would always present something to blackmail you with once they found out your weakness. The same game they did on uh, Samson and, De and Delilah. Same game that uh, Eve did in the Garden of Eden. They get, go, get they go they go through your woman, see. And the black man woman uh, 
no longer looks up to the black man. You know, she looks up to that Caucasian or to that Arab, so-called Arab, or to that uh, so-called uh, Italian or whatever, because they're controlling the black man and everything that he does. If you're selling dope, you're being controlled by the black, by the white man. Cause he's over there right now in Afghanistan getting getting another supply together to ship back over here, put on the streets. He uses it in his medicines and his pharmaceutical products, all kind of drugs that you ain't never heard of before. But nevertheless, they drugs and they got you dependent and on that instead of the God in you. You're not depending on the God in you no more. He's manufacturing the money which he's uh, weaponized and the money goes right back to him because when you pay your light bill, your gas bill, when you buy your car, when you take out a loan and he charges interest on this and that and the other credit cards, the money goes right back to him because he done stole all the real money that the uh, United States was using, which was gold and silver. So uh, he's taking the rifts between the brothers because a brother want to be in power in some kind of way. A brother, you know, a lot of brothers don't, don't, don't never have the patience enough to see how your leader is is moving. Sometimes your your leader make mistakes, you know. Uh, but that was the case with Malcolm. Malcolm was impatient. He wanted to move when it was time to move. Yeah. How do I know? Cause I got an uncle that was in the saving souls business called the FOI. Yeah. He knew Malcolm real, real well. So, uh, the devil run that same game over and over again. Using this technology, using it's just a game. It's not the technology. It's the game that he's running. So, game recognize game because once you didn't lived here a long time, you young ones. Uh, if you got a, a elder that's alert, he know what's happening. So every kind of he got all the bases covered on how he gonna keep you be in your pockets all the time and keep you suppressed. So what you gotta do is reverse it. Lock down. First of all, you gotta pull in your woman. See, he who got the most money pays the cost to be the boss. See, if your woman got more money than you, uh, she gonna wear the pants because they think money make you. But it's not your money, it's your mind, your brain. As many ways as it is, to, there's more ways to skin a cat, that's many ways it is to make make money. So, I guess, you know, I'm going to cut this one short and come back with some closing comments. Black Layout.